I tried to make a video to explain the most recent update about Newman, but I just can't seem to muster up the energy to do it, at least not yet. It is with a heavy heart and a knot in my throat, but I have to let everyone know that Newman has died. It did happen several days ago when he became very uncomfortable sometime in the late evening and simply wouldn't sit still. I spent the night comforting him and by dawn it was very apparent that this was not a discomfort that was going to pass. I had hoped in my heart that he just had gas or something that'd be easy, but it definitely was not the case. It seemed that in about 12 hours Newman had gone from a very happy dog that didn't have a care in the world to a very sick dog that knew something was very, very wrong. But he's just a dog, you may say. For me, he was more than a dog. He was my constant companion for the last 11 years and one week. He was a dog that performed on stage, eager to do whatever we asked of him simply for a piece of string cheese. He was the comfort dog for the kids in the green room. He was a kind face in an otherwise fucked up world. His gray muzzle, man, I'd see that in the window as he heard my truck pull up to the house. He was that ball of energy that would run around in circles on the lawn when I got home. He'd sit in the sun on the grass while I wrenched on some project in the driveway, just happy to be with me, to be outside, to be in the fresh air. He was the buddy that would take hour-long walks in the mountains, chasing squirrels out of the drainage pipes or crashing through the icy creek just to take a quick swim. He loved the beach. He was a protector of our house, of my girls, always in front of them as if to shield them from any harm. He is the dog who may have started his life in a world of abuse, but ended up spending the last 11 years and one week in a world of love and affection, always included, always hugged, part of a pack, one of the family. He was my friend, my partner, my defender. He was my dog. He is the friend who entrusted me to make that final call, to comfort him in his final time of need, to be there for him, looking directly in his eyes, talking softly to him while I stroked his velvet ears. I protected and looked over him as he breathed his final breath.